Grenada makes good on its pledge to assist Dominica. As a nation, and every one of us should be doing what we can to alleviate some of the sufferings that are taking place in Dominica. This story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. Dominica's Prime Minister, the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, has met with Grenada's Minister for Health, the Honorable Nicholas Steele, who headed a first response team to Dominica, arriving there on Sunday. He's on the ground accompanied by Deputy Police Commissioner Mr. Franklin Redhead, a senior engineer of the National Coast Guard, and a pathologist from the Ministry of Health. The team also carried with it initial supplies such as water and non-perishable food items. Grenada is mobilizing more assistance for residents of its fellow Windward Island Territory, which was affected by Tropical Storm Erica last week. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell has already sent requests to friends who are part of the Economic Citizenship Program to donate whatever they can. In his capacity as chairman of the OECS and the RSS, he called on his colleague heads with those resources to do the same. Dr. Mitchell has committed Grenada to providing aid in the amount of $100,000 and again as OECS chairman, he has asked his colleague heads to make a similar commitment. The Prime Minister also announced that the Ministry of Culture will plan a major national fundraising activity with all proceeds going to Dominica. As a nation, and every one of us should be doing what what we can to alleviate some of the sufferings that are taking place in Dominica at this particular time. Because we all remember what we went through uh, 11 years ago. Cash donations can be made to the Dominica Relief Fund at the Grenada Cooperative Bank at account number 121004900. Meanwhile, Grenadians continue to point much-needed relief supplies as the National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA, prepares to make its first shipment to the storm-stricken island on Wednesday. NADMA's disaster coordinator, Terence Walters, says the response from the general public is encouraging and he urges people to continue to contribute. So we're collecting like um, canned stuff, you know, non-perishable canned uh, and other foods and uh, water and toiletries. Those are some of the, some of the things, the items that we want persons to contribute. And also um, cash, because it's, it's very important to send cash because uh, the country is in need of cash for the rebuilding process. So you can make your contribution at the Grenada Cooperative Bank. The account number is 121004900. That's the account number at the Grenada Cooperative Bank. So any branch of Coop Bank, you can go and um, let them know that you come to, uh, you know, deposit some money for the relief efforts. The United Nations has been working closely with the government of Dominica to respond to the crisis and with the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, SIDEMA, to support the government's response. This is the National Report. We will be right back. Prepare for hurricane. Prepare for hurricane. Make sure you have your radio and your batteries to waterproof flashlight candles. will do thin stuff, garbage bag, first aid kit. Come on, people, make sure you have it. Clean water in a container and a hurricane plan. Hear me, no man. Plan major carnival events in a manner that they can raise revenue apart from the financial contribution that government makes. That is the advice from Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell to the main organizers of Grenada's biggest cultural festival. He was addressing stakeholders and carnival planners at a one-day symposium at the National Stadium on Saturday. So with all the challenges, it seems to me that we have to, collectively as a country, put our best foot forward and limit the amount that the taxpayers of the country have to come up with to invest in in activities that can, in fact, be almost self-financing. The symposium looked at areas like the National Vision for Spice Mass, Legislative Framework, the Spice Mass Cooperation, Carnival Monday and Tuesday, as well as major shows. The suggestion was also made that there should be a financial projection of the festival for 2016. A number of participants gave their views during the exercise. While government cannot fully remove itself from the festival, the plan is to set guidelines that will help capable individuals to run the festival in an efficient manner. We have good music, but something with the organization is not right. We as Calypsonians, we need to get ourselves under one umbrella to fight for the same issue. I don't know if anybody had spoke about this whilst I was gone for lunch, but it's something that I want to recommend. 
That is the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. Hi, I am Junior Murray. Let's keep our athletes on sports clean. No dope in sports. Wins for Boca Juniors, the Queen's Park Rangers, Hurricanes and Hard Rock in matches of the GFAPM division over the weekend. Manchester City consolidates its fantastic start in the 2015-16 English Premier Division. England beat Australia by five runs in the lone T20 encounter in Cardiff today. These and more are this edition of the GIS Sports. Hello, I'm Trevor Thwaites. Boca Juniors, Queen's Park Rangers, Hurricanes and Hard Rock were in winner's row over the weekend in matches of the Grenada Football Association GFA Premier League. In the top of the table battle, Boca Juniors beat Paradise three goals to one at Progress Park in St. Andrew to boost their chances for the championship. Reports indicate that the St. Patrick outfit produced a dazzling display to get the better of a Paradise on their home ground. Harim John put Boca Juniors ahead in the seventh minute and striker Marcus Julian increased the lead in the 20th minute to make it 2-0. But Paradise scored from the penalty spot through Jake Rennie in the 25th minute before Julian scored again to leave the scoreline three goals to one at the interval. The second period produced no goals as Boca Juniors ran out winners 3-1. Also on Sunday, Queen's Park Rangers thrashed Newham GBSS seven goals to one at the Queen's Park. The pride of River Road, cheered on by stunned supporters, out passed and outclassed GBSS. They were comfortably ahead 4 0 at the interval and scored three more goals in the second half to record their biggest win and most emphatic of the season. There were also Premier Division wins on Saturday for Hurricanes and the Hard Rock. Hurricanes stayed in contention for the title with a 2 1 win over Fontenoy United at the Borussia Duplain Field in a closely contested encounter. Hard Rock, meanwhile, beat Chanty Mel three goals to one at Plains of St. Patrick in the St. Patrick Derby to inject new lives to the struggling outfit. Boca Juniors' win over the weekend has given them, has seen them regain the leadership in the Premier Division. They led in the first half of the first round, but lost ground after a couple of defeats. However, three straight wins have seen St. Patrick's outfit climb back to the summit. They are on 25 points from 13 matches, secured from eight wins, a draw and four defeats. Uh, St. Mark's outfit Hurricanes uh, has now moved into second position, also on 25 points from 12 matches. Paradise have flipped to third position. They are on 24 points from 14 matches. The pride of River Road Queen's Park Rangers uh, have uh, moved the place up in fourth position on 21 points from 12 outings. St. John's Sports are fifth on 19 points from 13 engagements. For the field, the Manchester City have maintained a 100% start of the 2015-16 English Premier Division season. The 2013 champions seeking to regain the title have made an impressive start. Manchester City scored their fourth successive win of the season over the weekend beating Watford two goals to nil. Arsenal beat 
Newcastle one goal to nothing. West Ham defeated Liverpool three goals to nil. First time they had done that in 28 years. And Swansea City beat Manchester United two goals to one. The win was uh, Swansea's third in a row over the English Giants. Well, word from the Grenada National Stadium Authority is that the National Cricket Stadium will be in fine condition for the FIFA World Cup qualifying encounter between Grenada and Haiti on Friday. An area of the ground was badly damaged by revelers during the Groovy and Sokamana final on August the 9th. However, the Grenada Football Association, the GFA, says that it has been assured by the stadium authority that the ground staff has worked diligently over the past two weeks to repair the facility, which is now in tip-top condition at the moment. Reports are that the grounds that uh, thousands of dollars have been spent to resurface and regrab the damaged area. Officials are confident that the game, the first game of the two-match leg, will be played in Grenada on Friday, and that game will be played in quality oil field. In Cricket England won the lone T20 encounter on Monday against uh, Australia in Cardiff. They won the thriller by five runs. Uh, knocks, by 74, knocks of 74 by skipper Owen Morgan and an unbeaten 72 by Moen Ali led England to a competitive 182 for five. Uh, Morgan hit three fours and seven sixes from 39 balls, while Ali struck six fours and three sixes from 46 deliveries. Pat Cummins was the best bowler, picking up 2 for 85, or 2 for 28 from 4 overs. Australian reply fell short by just 5 runs, reaching 177 for 8. Smith scored 90 from 23 balls with 7 fours and 3 sixes, and Glenn Maxwell struck 44 from 32 balls with uh, four, six, 4 sixes and, uh, I'll make that 6 fours and a big 6. Peter Willey took 3 for 34 from 4 overs, and there was a wicket apiece for Finn, Topley, Stokes, and Ali. The teams now turn their attention to the five match one the series starting September the 3rd in Southampton. That's sports. Man, I was so scared, I nearly wet myself. Only those who have lived it can truly understand the devastating fury of a hurricane's wind. The house across the road just get up and roll over. Hurricane force wind, it's a hazard. Hazards. Take control. Reduce your loss. You can hurricane proof your home. For example, Make your roof more wind resistant by using screws instead of nails in its construction. Find out more about hurricane force winds and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from your national disaster office and Sidera. <laughs> 